So, Tran, uh, now, it's, now it's time for you to speak. I wonder if you can tell us about how the film option and rights came to be, that is, how you were able to gain Murakami's approval to adapt and ultimately um, take his vision to the screen for his best-selling selling novel. I think that I, I was lucky, <laughs> yes, because um, uh, I don't know, maybe it's, um, I, I asked him at the, the right moment at, at his life. I think that uh, um, he has uh, enough distance uh, with his um, you know, work. So maybe I asked him at the right moment, that's why. And he was very simple. He um, just asked me, of course I start to, to talk about how I would like to adapt it, but he stopped me, he said, okay, I just want to see the script. You know? and, uh, um, and also he, he wanted to know um, about the, the budget of the movie. Uh, and it was very nice uh, that he asked for, for this uh, because somehow he defended my, my, my point of view because we all know that we can make a movie for, for two million or for 10. So uh, I think that he, he wanted me to have enough um, you know, money to, to, uh, to make a good movie. Uh, that's why he asked for the, the, the budget. So the budget was... Uh, as important as you know the how I, I, I would adapt the, the book <laughs> for him, and um, and um, uh, of course I I, I spent a year uh, writing the script uh, to be able to give to him, and uh, we uh, we discuss in in English, you know in in the English version. So I I, I wrote the script in in French, then we translate in Japanese for the producer and also in English for him. Since I don't speak Japanese, uh, then we have to, to, you know, to, to work on, on the, the English version with, with uh, Murakami. And um, uh, I don't know, he, he read the, the, the first draft and then uh, he wrote a lot of notes on, on, on the script. And he sent he sent he sent it to me, and it was my turn to put my old notes on his notes. So there was a, a thick document with uh, uh, the the script in in black, and his notes were in in red, and I wrote my old notes in green. So mm. it was it was a, a, a very a thick <laughs> yes, <laughs> very thick uh, book. But. Um, Rumor has it that it took four years to actually get no, the project no. together. So is that from beginning of meeting Murakami to, to final Yes, film? it's just you know, the, the normal process. It's always very long in, in the, the movie business. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, when he asked for the, 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 the script, then I, have, I spent some time you know, um, working on the, the contract, the agreement with the, the producer. Mm -hmm. Then it took me some time to, to write it and to work on, on the script with the, the producer before, you know, uh, the producer uh, have something to put numbers on it, to have, uh, you know, the budget and go uh, meet with um, different financiers uh, to be able to know how much he can get for the, you know, for the production. So all this take a lot of time, uh, but it, uh, it's not because uh, uh, Murakami was difficult or picky no, or something. No, I, yeah, yes. But I wonder how, how important it was for you to stick to the novel or stay true to the novel from the original script and how it evolved through communication with him and, and how the script may have changed from the original through notes with him and how much of the novel you kept and how much you left out or I, changed. It's very difficult, I don't mm -hmm. know. It's, a, it's very I intuitive, you know, and um, um, I don't know, what was really in interesting with his notes uh, was uh, um, I had the feeling that he, he had some distance uh, uh, with the, the book. So uh, it's, it's like uh, his own souvenirs about the book. Um, so there was... Uh, a lot of things that he add uh, to to the to to the um, a lot of scenes and ideas 
So it's too much. I mean, the book is uh, too, too rich for, for, the, for the movie. Uh, you, you need to, to get rid of a lot of things uh, from the book. Uh, and Murakami adds some more, yeah. you know. So I, I, um, I have to explain that, you know, I, I, ca I cannot keep everything. But he gave some very brilliant um, dialogues um, that was uh, very useful for me because uh, I can cut out, I don't know, something like four or five scenes and replace it with That's only, fine. yes, the line that he, he gave me. So I, I was lucky that, that he has uh, that kind of distance uh, with the book, with his book. And for you, when you were writing the script for the first time, being aware that you're adapting it for the screen, what, what were you really trying to make? A love story or a political statement or a Murakami adaptation? I mean, what were really the themes that you, you, you kept through, through the film, maybe more so than in the novel? As, as um, um, not, not, of course, the, 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 the political uh, aspect of the book, because uh, even in a book, you cannot really understand wh what's going on uh, with the, the, all the, the protest and things like that because it's a very complex uh, uh, you know, uh, issue in, in Japan at, at that time. So it, it's, it's too complex to, um, to, be, to, you know, to, to, um, to do it in a movie. So I only keep the, um, the, the thread line um, with um, uh, Watanabe. Um, he he, uh, he meet with Naoko and it's his uh, first love, and immediately he, he lost it, you know, and then later on when he uh, meet again with her, um, he discovered her problem, and then uh, he, gave, he gave himself uh, a mission is to, to save her. And uh, because he, he has this mission, he cannot accept the love that uh, um, Midori offered to him. And um, um, so this was the, the, the man thing, and, and, and everything that, that can disturb or make it not clear, I have to get rid of it. This was uh, uh, the man thing, and, and in the book, there was uh, something that is really daring uh, in terms of um, behavior. Uh, and uh, Murakami created uh, a mechanism of uh, um, um, of um, Watanabe's uh, spirit that is really uh, daring. It's just after uh, Naoko's death, um, we see him um, mourning by, by the sea and uh, he cry and then we see him coming back to, uh, to his apartment and, and meet with Reiko and they made love. And then the scene after that, he called Midori and said, I love you. So it's, it's really, you know, it's really disturbing uh, as, a, as a, a psychological mechanism, very disturbing. But it, it was absolutely brilliant because uh, the idea is that uh, Watanabe, um, and, and you, it's, it's not something that you can see it clearly when you read the book. It's, it's when, you, when you try to adapt and try to understand everything that this idea uh, appear. Um, is, is the fact that Watanabe, uh, uh, he, 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 uh, he, he felt uh, guilty um, because, because he couldn't save uh, Naoko. And Reiko uh, is uh, the person who, who, uh, who gave him the opportunity to save someone. And by uh, sleeping with her, uh, he, uh, he saved her somehow. And he, he gave her back her sexuality so she can uh, uh, start a new life. And uh, this makes his uh, guilt lighter. And, uh, uh, this allowed him to, um, uh, to make up with life and, and go to Midori and say I love you and start a new life. And it was really something really uh, sophisticated in terms of uh, you know, the mechanism.
and uh, it, it was something that is, uh, I hope, more obvious in, 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 in the movie. But at the same time, you cannot do it too obvious uh, because you need to keep it uh, mysterious enough uh, to have a very intimate relationship with the, the, the audience. If it's too obvious, it's like a mechanism. It's, 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 um, it's too mechanical, can we say it? And uh, so it needs to, to, to be a little bit difficult. Uh, so that when when you when you realize it, uh, you you can um, you have a, a, a more in, intimate relation with the with the story. 